Hi, my name's Tom, and I'm going to be reviewing my new microwave. Why am I reviewing a microwave? Because it's one of the top selling microwaves on Amazon right now. It's the Toshiba EM925A 5A. This, by the way, is the instruction manual. There's not a whole lot to it. I've had it for about three weeks now, and I want to go through some of the features and some of the things we like about it and some of the things we don't like about it. And you'll be able to decide whether this is the microwave for you. First things first. As you can see, it's stainless steel. It comes in stainless steel or kind of a black stainless steel. And it comes in stainless steel with then just a black uh, uh, plastic covering. Uh, it is. It does have leave fingerprints, leaves marks, so you do have to clean it every so often. It's not too bad. Some of our stainless steel appliances are terrible about this. This one's eh, about in the middle. It's not awful, but it's not great either. Um, it does have vents on the top and the sides. And size-wise, it's about 12 feet or 12 inches high. It sits about 15, 16 inches off the back, and it's about 19 inches across. So just kind of make sure you have that uh, space on your countertop for this thing. Uh, and you can see the LED is actually green. So the microwave itself has rubber feet on the bottom. This is a laminate countertop, and we've had no problems with it actually sliding or going back and forth. And the reason I say that is because the door has no la a clasp, so you have to actually pull it open like that. And there's my, my cup of water in there. So click, pull it open. It's not too bad of a, of a, of a yank. Um, it's a relatively light yank. My, my children can do it. Not a problem at all. It does click closed, just like that. And when it's open, you do see the light. Uh, the light is nice and bright. It's an LED. And when it's cooking, the light is also on. So you'll also see that uh, cook. And then inside, you have a, there's my cup of water. But inside, you have a standard microwave uh, rotation plate and a standard little plastic uh, wheel wheel ring in there um, they actually a lot of microwaves have the same size ones now this is about i think it's like nine or ten inches uh, not a big deal now let's talk about some of the microwave's actual cooking features uh it has pretty standard stuff it has the 30 second start so you just click you put something in you just click 30 seconds automatically adds 30 seconds to the timer you can click it again anywhere in the and automatically adds another 30 seconds you want to stop it just hit stop the whole thing stops. Hit stop again and you clear it out. Again, pretty standard stuff. Uh, you have one touch starts for one to six minutes. So if I click the five, it'll instantly start with five minutes. Again, pretty standard stuff. I'll hit stop and I'll hit stop again to clear it off. Uh, it does have things like time cook. So I can hit time cook and I can say two minutes and 55 seconds. Same idea. It has defrost, it has weight defrost, it has a regular old kitchen timer if you need that. Uh, I don't particularly use it. You change your clock and your settings. It does have power levels. It has up to 10 different power levels. So you can hit power level, oops, uh, time cook, 255, power level 5. That'll cook at a half or 50% of the power level for that time period. Hit start and it goes. Or you just hit stop and cancel. Now, the one big feature of this microwave that makes this one of the top selling microwave on Amazon is this feature. You notice the whole time I've been pressing buttons has been beeping. Watch this. Hear that long beep? Now, time cook, two, five, five, no beeps. Pretty cool. You can mute the beep on this microwave. So even if it goes ahead and cooks for 12 seconds. The microwave still makes noise. It still rotates. It still moves around. It still cooks the food. However, when, when it's done, no beeps. So if your microwave is, a small, is in a small apartment or in a kitchen next to a bedroom, you can turn off the beeps so that you don't annoy people. Now, that being said, the beeps are not that loud anyway. Uh, you can hear them in the next room, but you can't hear them on the other side of the house. So it's not a real loud beep to begin with, but you can mute it. To turn it back on, same idea. The long beep's back. Now whenever I press things, there we go. I have my beep now. Okay. Uh, a couple other neat little features of this. Uh, there is a child lock where you can hold this button down and it will... You'll see a little display on here. Let's see if I can do this. 
That's now child lock. That means that none of the buttons will work. However, the door does still open. So realize it's not a physical lock on the microwave. It just locks the features of the microwave. To make this start again, do the same thing. Unlock it with a long hold. There we go, long hold. Uh, other things, it does have some quick touch things for frozen vegetables, beverages, plates, potatoes, pizzas, all those sorts of things that most microwaves have. Uh, we've experimented with them a little bit and they work just about as well as you think they would work. Uh, most times now, I just go ahead and I just throw something in and I just wing it, I ballpark it, or look at the instructions and I just follow the instructions. One more really cool feature that this does have, and some microwaves have this now, this is kind of a more common thing. Um, but you can set up a memory, you can program it to do different things. So my daughter likes to have breakfast sandwiches, and those breakfast sandwiches have kind of a two-step cooking process. There's a one minute at 50%, and then a 45 seconds at the full percentage. Now, instead of having her remember those instructions and do them each time, you can actually type your programming in and set up memory. So I can do memory one, start, and it will automatically start following through the memory. When it's done with this, it will go to the next setting. So I have a, have a one minute on high, or one minute 50%, and then 45 seconds on high. Once it's done with the one minute, it automatically flips over and then does the next setting. So it'll have multiple things, kind of like a program or a small recipe that you can put into these things. This particular microwave has three different memory settings. So far, so good. Uh, the microwave has a lot of nice, simple features. It works pretty well. The muting the beep is a wonderful feature. However, there's one thing about this that really, really annoys me. Watch this. I'm going to put my coffee cup in with my handle facing straight out. Now, I want then want to warm up my water for exactly 30 seconds. So I'm going to hit 30. And it shows that way. When you rotate it, it actually picks a, a, a different way to rotate each time. So sometimes it goes to the left, sometimes it goes to the right. But I want you to notice something. When this handle comes right back around, it's at about the 12 second mark. It takes about 12 to 12 and a half seconds for the rotation to happen. That means that in a 30 second timing mode, your handle is never going to be where you just put it. In a lot of microwaves, the rotation is exactly 30 seconds. So if you go ahead and have three 30 second timers, bump, 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 when you reach in to get your coffee cup, your handle's exactly where you want it. Here we go. My handle is nowhere where I want it. It's actually way in the back and I have to kind of reach over and kind of twist it around to grab the handle and then pull it out. That is really annoying. So if you're gonna use your microwave for coffee and for tea and you like warming up cups or something where you use a handle, just realize that your handle is never gonna come back around to where you expect to reach in and grab it. You're gonna to have to open it up, look in and grab it. It's a minor little thing, but in our previous microwaves, they were all 30 second rotations on the table and it was a really nice feature. We didn't even think about it until we got this microwave and realized 12 and a half seconds is just silly. So there you go. There's our Toshiba microwave. It's not particularly uh, fancy. There's not a whole lot of bells and whistles. The one cool feature it really has, two cool features it really has, is the mute button for the sound and the memory feature, which is kind of nice for having multiple things that you want to cook the same way each time. Is it worth it for you? Eh, it's up to you. It's not an expensive microwave. It does look very nice. Uh, the stainless steel and the black matches all the other appliances on my countertop and in the rest of my kitchen. Uh, it's about $100 to $120 on Amazon right now. Sometimes you can get sales. Given that a microwave typically will last between 8 and 10 years, it's a heck of a deal for a cooking device that actually w works well. Uh, we've had no problems with cooking. Everything's come out hot. Everything's done very, very well. We can cook a bag of popcorn in about a minute and a half at the most. We can boil a cup of water, this little coffee cup of water. We can boil that in probably uh, two minutes at the most. Uh, so it has worked out very, very well. All the instructions we follow on the back of the packages, all of our food has come out nice and hot, which is great. The only one convenience is that darn rotation of, of 12 and a half seconds. It really should be either 15 or 30 seconds so that we can pull out things exactly as you put them in. If you have comments or questions about this microwave oven or anything that I've reviewed, by all means, let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and I'll try to answer those things. If you like this review, go ahead and like it uh, down below and hit the little bell for notifications. And again, I do answer questions, I do answer email. If you have a product that you'd like to review, 
Go ahead and let me know through YouTube as well, and I'll look into it. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed this.